Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Tell. Today we are going to taste some wine. We are trying it's Pinot Noir. Presquille. Presquille, is that how you say it? Presquille. Presquille, 2017 Pinot Noir, Santa Barbara County. Uh, we'll see. We've been wanting yeah. to try some. I'm excited. Some Pinot Noirs from uh, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. I feel like they got it going on up there. From what I've heard. For, for those for of you Pinot. who have never been to California, you should go to Santa Barbara. It is oh, Santa beautiful. Is great. Oh my God, it's amazing. Why is this table so wiggly? Oh. I didn't build this to be that wiggly. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, Santa Barbara's a weird. It's because it's like college town, but then it's like super ritzy. Yeah, it is. It has like this super weird mashup of like really, really drunk college people yeah. and incredibly rich people. I heard a thing back, so back in the day. That's where like everyone went to like go party. Like my, yeah. my friends, like. They go up there for Halloween and stuff like Halloween. that. Halloween. Halloween yeah. in Santa Barbara is insane. It's so yeah. crazy. I've heard that uh, that like they drink like one or like one or two percent of the world's alcohol like in Santa Barbara <laughs> like, because of the college. Yeah. <laughs> like what? SB is, is a place to party. I had yeah. a friend that lived up in uh, SB, so I would go up every now and then and nice. visit her. Mmm. That is some nice cherry. Nice, like, red, juicy cherry. I'll have to carry the show by myself. Or, yeah, uh... no, sorry. <laughs> There's almost like a little bit of like a rust smell. Kind of like a rusty. Rusty chicken? Like, like a rusty chicken. Uh, no, like, <laughs> not like a rusty can, but like a, it's like a rusty piece of metal. So probably a lot of like mills in there. Ooh, yeah, you're That's right. Nice, huh? You're right, rusty. You're right. Right? Yeah, like well, for me, it's more like a dirty metal, like a like dirt on rusty metal. Hmm. Like so get some earth. Yeah, there's some earth in there for sure. <laughs> yeah, I get earth. I don't really get too much cherry. I get. I'm not sure if it's. Black licorice, or if it's like a niece. I don't know which one. Are you like, kidding me? Really it, is got, wobbly. it got worse. <laughs> Good fix. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells nice. This is yeah, this is really, really nice. This is nice. What does it say on the bottle? Uh, I don't think it has any tasting notes in the bottle. Okay. Santa Maria. Oh, All right. there's some sort of like water thing I'm getting like almost like when you go to like like a waterfall or something that like nice like fresh like spring Cri crispiness yeah it's like a crispy crispy creek well it's like crispy it's like flat it's like new growth it's like spring yeah spring almost like I wouldn't say algae because that kind of smells gross but maybe like a well no I can, I can see like a like a flowing like Spring, or yeah, like waterfall. Yeah, it just has like you know, that that aquatic environment smell to it. It almost reminds me. Now that you say that, it reminds me of the uh, Stagelfoss in Iceland. Oh, in Iceland, yeah. Because yeah. that one falls down and it sits in like this, you know, little pondy area, and then it flows on from there. Yeah. But that pond has all like like the moss and all like the right, you know, like the. Just fresh spring greenery yeah. drawn all around. Yeah, definitely like wet greenery yeah. sort of stuff. Well, I'm going to try it. If you haven't been Iceland, go to Iceland. Iceland is amazing. Yeah, the smell is kind of burnt off a little bit from the rust. Yeah, the rust isn't really there too much anymore. The rust, it's more it's just, really like, just like wet, wet earth. But... Alright, let's try it. Hmm. It's light. It feels a little tannic. Yeah, I would agree. I, would I get agree. I get more of the cherry on the taste. A lot That's more it. cherry on the taste. Yeah, but it's, red cherry, red cherry. Yeah, red cherry. What are the blue cherries? No, it's black cherry. Black cherries. Not blue. Green cherry. Green cherries. <laughs> red. Yellow cherry. Well, I guess there's maraschino cherries and things like that. Oh yeah, no, not like a sweet cherry. No. Oh, yeah, this is this is this is good. This is like a light, definitely a lighter body wine. This is like a before a dinner if you're gonna have some people over, maybe cook a dinner. You know, you want to start with something lighter. 
Mm -hmm. I agree. Appetizers. Yeah. But the smell is more, way more interesting than the taste. The taste yeah, I was actually just about to say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smell is very complex and nice, and the taste is more smooth, toned down, well blended. Yeah. Just like. Not, dis finish. not disappointment, but I wish it had the smell characteristic. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. we have to decan it a little bit. Longer. That's what I was thinking. Maybe if it's oh, well, I was gonna say produced and bottled by. So I think that means that they're doing all this stuff, like the whole process. Yeah, which is cool. They made this wine or winery or something uh, in honor of Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane. Oh, is that what it says on the Yeah, the label was a little confusing. Yeah, it is a little confusing. Because I guess Presqu'ile is Creole for almost an island. Um, and there's like a place on the Gulf Coast. And then Hurricane Katrina like wiped it all out. So now they have a winery in honor of it. I think that's nice. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. This is this is really good wine for, I mean, the price for like, you know, before dinner. Like you'd want to eat this with food for sure. Drink this with food. Well, you can eat it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd want to drink this with food. They have minimal uh, use of new oak. That's interesting. Minimal use of new oak? Yeah. So they're just not using it as much? I guess. I don't know. Sometimes you know when you have wine and it's like a vanilla bomb or like it's super yeah. oaky. Well, I feel like that's know? like added stuff. I feel like that, because to get that much vanilla from a, a new oak barrel is pretty difficult. It's just like there's just not that much available. I think they add those types of components. Because in California, they're allowed to add like, a certain amount without saying it. Yeah, without writing it. Without right. having to tell you about it. Which is interesting. I found that really interesting. Well, it feels like a little scammy. It feels like, you know, like you're not leading the customer to believe like a certain thing of what's in the bottle. Right. And then you drink it and you're like, oh, it says it's 100%, you know, well, it just says like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, whatever. Cavs off. Yeah. And then it only has to be, what, like 80% in order for them to? Yeah, uh, yeah. Which is like, what the heck? Like 20%? That's, that's a big yeah. deal. Well, 20% has to be other grapes, but I forget the actual number. If you know, leave it down below. I think it's around like 2 or 3%. Maybe like 2.5%. You can just add like whatever the heck you want. I thought you just said it had to be 80%. percent No, no. Off. For you to call it. This is to, to say that this is a, a, a Pinot Noir. Eighty percent of it has to be Pinot Noir. The one about the extra twenty percent. The, the other twenty percent could be other great varietals. But oh, you said two. No, but up to two and a half percent could be like vanilla. Oh, or, that's what you mean. You're yeah. not you're not saying other great varieties. No, no, no. You're no, saying no. like additives. Yeah, additives. Yeah. You can do they additives. They use like up mega. Two, three percent. Yeah, like there we go. Mega purple. Like they use like all. This, <sighs> it's basically just grape juice, you know, to like. Just throw yeah. some mulches in there. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Honestly, yeah. So it's a little, it's a little misleading, but not that, not that this is misleading at all. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I like this wine. I think yeah. it's nice. Um, I think with Pinot Noirs in general, you tend to get that like really light body, mm -hmm. not like too much going on in the taste, which is never a bad thing. I think that this is just very like yeah. juicy cherry. Um, I think we've been okay. turned off to Pinot Noir, not turned off, but let down with California, Oregon, Pinot Noirs because we went to Paul and we went to Burgundy and had, you know. Amazing Pinot Noir. Yeah, amazing Pinot Noir <laughs> for, for cheap. Like you nothing know, for, for Yeah, so it's it's a little bit of a letdown when you yeah. taste something, you know, not that, I don't know, I don't care too much. I don't know, none I don't, of this is a letdown. None of this is a letdown. This, this is a good, good one. This is good. good. This makes me feel better about Pinot Noir, you know, because the stuff we've tried California, things like that just hasn't been complex. Yeah, it hasn't. So, like, this would be Burgundy and every like, Pinot Noir that we've had has kind of like come here. But mm -hmm. I feel like this one is is, is yeah. pretty close. I think yeah. this is a good one. This is good. And, this is, good one. and I think Santa Barbara does a lot of, you know, Pinot Noir. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. So. I love Santa Barbara. I want a winery in Santa Barbara. Pink has a winery in Santa Barbara. Pink? Like the singer? Yeah, I've seen pictures of her like on her Instagram, like on a tractor. Just like <laughs> She has like an Instagram for her winery. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Check yeah. it out. Yeah. Well, that's it for tasting wine. 
Let us know what you're trying. Uh, leave some comments down below about what maybe we should try next. If you have any other great recommendations for Pinot Noir, we are, I don't want to say new to Pinot Noir, but looking for more great, interesting, complex Pinot Noirs that are affordable. You know. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please don't recommend a $500. Yeah, don't, don't throw. <laughs> oh, sure, here you go. But, uh, but if you want to send us any of those, that's fine, too. Yeah, so, we'd like that. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So, cheers. Cheers.